Hi guys, Dr. Nick Babulis, MD here. So today I just want to kind of give you a little bit of a background on FSM in terms of placement. I'm not going to go through everything in terms of placements, but how to use accessories and how to kind of place them on the body. So we're going to start first with our push pin leads and alligator clips. So you have an accessory here, these are your two wires, and you have of course, each wire has two push pin leads and on each push pin lead, you can then add alligator clips. And they're color coded, of course, so it makes life so much easier. So for this, if you want to hook up the towel, it's very simple. Like this is your towel over here. You'd have it wet, of course. That's the way to kind of conduct the frequencies into the actual towel to wrap it around the individual. So we can hook it up to one side of the towel. That's the way I do it. Hook it up to the other side of the towel. And then this would be kind of wrapped around, say, if we're going to do the neck, because we're working on something of like the vagus, we'd wrap around the neck. And that's how we apply it. And then we, of course, use the second leads here. And we apply it to another towel and clip those onto the second towel. And then we apply them somewhere else. So if we're going to do the belly in a sense, we apply it there. That's how simple it is. Uh, so just so you know. So in general, what we do also, if we're using sticky pads, again, um, with these, actual wires or leads we can actually input one into the other so it makes life a little bit more easier just because now you don't have to use two tense pads for each of these kind of wires you can use one and you can hook it up just like this very simply to your tense pads and then once you have it on tense pads simply enough you can then place it in the body so an example it's like if i'm going to do the liver or the kidneys or the small intestine I'd hook it up like we have here. I'd stick this onto the belly or anyone in the abdomen. So maybe if you want to do your liver, maybe me do it one on the right side on this side. And then I would take my other push pin leads. Again, take these alligator clips off. I'd hook one into the other. And then of course <clears throat> I'd have my second tense pad. And then I put this tense pad then on my kind of mid to lower back. I can put me in the left side and put the other one on the right side in the front. You always want to go uh, front to back or back to front. It doesn't matter in general in terms of which way you're doing if you're having, depending on the protocols you're using. But in general for home use, because we're talking about here, that's how you might be able to do it. So think organs in the abdomen, try to do it around the abdomen. If you're doing it on the lungs, think around the lungs. Um, if you want to do kind of brain stuff, depending on your practitioner, they can tell you how to do that. But with the sticky pads, theoretically, you can kind of from the chest and the back of the head as well, or the neck or the upper back. Um, <clears throat> but like if you're using a towel, you can be more specific. So like we said before, say if we're doing kind of the vagus nerve or something like that, we wrap around the neck and then I put another towel on the belly in order to kind of follow the actual vagus from the ex exit point in the head to its uh, termination point in the kind of uh, in the intestine. So that can be one simple way. Or if I'm using this, I put a towel, say on my belly and one on my back. Long same kind of idea on the chest and the upper back. And if I'm doing the sinuses, maybe I'd, again, I would have this towel on my neck and then a smaller towel over my eyes on the sinuses. It just really depends uh, in terms of placement. But that's simple enough to better understand in terms of how to kind of use this or where to place them as well and that they're easy enough to do and um, hopefully this helps you in terms of when you're using your device at home thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed it hopefully it was educational um, subscribe like this video so you can be updated of anything new that comes out from us in the future thanks